Have you ever paused to ponder the mystery of what happens after we die? It's a question as old as humanity itself, one that has sparked intrigue, curiosity, and occasionally, a shiver of fear. The concept of death, the very end of our physical existence, is a riddle that every individual, every culture and every religion has sought to unravel in its own way. From the ancient Egyptians with their elaborate rituals for the afterlife to the Buddhists with their belief in reincarnation, from the Christian's hope of heaven to the atheist's acceptance of oblivion, the interpretations are as varied as they are fascinating, yet the common thread that weaves through these diverse perspectives is the human desire to understand, to make sense of the unknown. But what if we looked beyond faith and folklore? What if we sought answers within the realm of science? Today, we delve into the scientific theories about life after death. Many scientists and philosophers have grappled with the nature of consciousness. It's a puzzle that has sparked debates for centuries, with theories ranging from consciousness being a mere byproduct of brain function, to more radical propositions suggesting that consciousness may persist beyond physical death. Let's dive into some of these intriguing theories. One of the most prominent concepts is the quantum theory of consciousness. This theory, often associated with the physicist Roger Penrose, proposes that consciousness is essentially a quantum phenomenon that exists at the subatomic level. The human brain, according to this theory, acts more like a quantum computer, processing and interpreting quantum information. If this were true, it would imply that consciousness isn't tied to our physical bodies, just like quantum particles that can exist in multiple states and places at once, our consciousness might not be confined to our mortal coils. Could our consciousness then continue to exist, even after our bodies cease to function? This complements another intriguing idea, the brain as a receiver of consciousness. Think of the brain as a radio, tuning into different frequencies of consciousness. When the radio is damaged or destroyed it stops functioning, but the broadcast it was tuning into doesn't cease to exist. This perspective suggests that our brains don't generate consciousness, but rather they receive it from a larger, perhaps universal consciousness field. Akin to a television receiving signals to display a show, our brains could be receiving consciousness, making us aware of our existence. It's an idea that's not without its critics, of course. Many scientists argue that there is no empirical evidence to support these theories. Yet, the debate continues, fueled by our innate curiosity about the nature of our existence, our consciousness and what happens when we die. So, could it be possible that our consciousness transcends our physical existence? It's a thought-provoking question, one that continues to captivate the minds of scientists and philosophers alike. As we explore the mysteries of life and death, perhaps we'll inch closer to unraveling the enigma of consciousness. Near-death experiences or NDEs have intrigued scientists for decades. A fascinating dance between life and death, these experiences have been reported by individuals who have been on the very brink of the abyss, only to return with tales that are as baffling as they are enlightening. Consider the myriad of studies documenting such experiences. For instance, the research by Dr. Raymond Moody, a well-known psychiatrist and philosopher who coined the term near-death experience in the 70s. He collated over 100 accounts of NDEs and found striking similarities among them. These common elements form what we now recognize as the typical structure of an NDE. One of the most reported elements is a sense of detachment from the body. Some recount floating above their physical bodies, watching as doctors and nurses scramble to save their lives. It's as if they've become mere spectators to their own survival story. Then, there's the overwhelming feeling of peace that seems to envelop those who've had a near-death experience. Descriptions of this serenity often defy adequate expression in words. It's a tranquility so profound that it dissolves the fear of death, replacing it with an acceptance and a readiness for what lies beyond. And let's not forget the encounters with deceased loved ones. Many report being met by friends and family who've passed on, offering comfort and guidance during the experience. These meetings often provide a sense of closure, and can even kindle a newfound appreciation for life, upon returning from the brink. But what do these common threads tell us? Are they mere hallucinations brought on by a dying brain, or do they hint at something far more profound? Is it possible that these experiences provide glimpses into an existence that stretches beyond the confines of our physical bodies? These experiences certainly seem to suggest that something exists beyond our physical life, an enthralling mystery indeed. But as we delve deeper into the enigma of life and death, we must keep our minds open, 
for the answers may be as complex and multifaceted as the questions themselves. Rebirth and reincarnation while religious concepts have also been studied scientifically. In the vast expanse of human experience we find stories that defy conventional understanding. One such enigma is the phenomenon of past life memories particularly in young children. Take a moment to imagine being a child again, but with an added layer of complexity. You remember a life you never lived. This is not mere fantasy or make-believe, but vivid detailed memories that often include names, places and events from a time long before your birth. Intriguing, isn't it? In the mid-20th century a man named Dr. Ian Stevenson began a fascinating journey into the study of these memories. A psychiatrist by profession, Stevenson dedicated much of his life to researching cases of children who claimed to remember past lives. His work took him across cultures and continents, collecting over 2,000 case studies that seemed to suggest the possibility of reincarnation. In one particularly compelling case, a child in India named Swarnlata Mishra identified details about a life lived over a hundred miles away, in a town she'd never visited. She recalled names, family dynamics, even the layout of a house she claimed to have lived in. When researchers followed up they found her descriptions to be eerily accurate. In another instance a child in America remembered being a World War II fighter pilot. He knew specific details about aircraft and battles that left his parents and researchers astounded. But what does this mean? Are these cases mere coincidence, or are they evidence of something more profound? Critics argue that these memories could be the result of suggestion, or perhaps a genetic memory passed down through generations. Yet many of these cases remain unexplained, their details too specific, and their connections too strong to dismiss outright. As we delve into the mysteries of the human mind and the possibilities of existence beyond the physical realm, we encounter questions that challenge our understanding of life and death. Could these memories be genuine evidence of life after death? The answer remains elusive, leaving us to ponder, to question, and to continue our search for understanding. So, does life truly end after physical death? This question has been the centerpiece of our discussion, and we've explored various theories and perspectives that attempt to answer it. We started with the intrigue of life and death, a mystery that has captivated humanity since the dawn of consciousness. We've pondered if death is just a cessation of physical functions, or if there's more to it. Is it an end, or a transition to something beyond our understanding? Then we delved into the consciousness conundrum. Is consciousness just a product of our brain, or is it a separate entity that can exist beyond our physical demise? Some theories suggest that consciousness might be a fundamental aspect of the universe just like space and time, others argue it's merely an illusion, a byproduct of complex neural interactions. Our journey took a turn towards the mystical as we navigated the realm of near-death experiences, stories of individuals who've been on the brink of death, only to return with tales of otherworldly journeys. They speak of bright lights, meeting deceased loved ones and transcendent peace, but are these experiences a glimpse of the afterlife, or just the brain's response to extreme stress? We also explored the idea of rebirth and reincarnation, a belief held by many cultures and religions around the world. The concept that our souls, or consciousness, embark on a continuous cycle of death and rebirth. But can this cycle be scientifically proven, or is it a matter of faith? Each of these theories offers a different perspective, yet none provides a definitive answer. The truth is, the question of life after death remains one of the greatest mysteries. The lack of concrete scientific proof leaves the debate wide open, with room for endless speculation and personal belief. While the mystery remains unsolved, it's clear that the question of life after death continues to captivate us. Whether we're driven by fear, curiosity, or a quest for understanding, the intrigue of what lies beyond the veil of death is a journey that for now, remains uncharted. As we conclude, ponder this. Is death the end of our journey or just the beginning of another? This inquiry as ancient as mankind itself has elicited myriad interpretations and beliefs. Some perceive death as a terminal event, the final curtain call, while others view it as a portal, a gateway to another existence, another realm. It's indeed an enigma that continues to baffle us. Yet it's this very mystery that makes our quest for understanding ever more intriguing. We encourage you therefore to continue this exploration, to keep questioning, to keep seeking. Perhaps you might want to delve into the concepts of soul, spirit and consciousness in future. Or maybe explore the mysteries of the cosmos and how they might be linked to our existence. The possibilities are limitless, the journey endless. Until we meet again remember, the greatest adventure is what lies ahead.